Yep. Snacking with Caves in the Trees, episode 16. Let's keep it clean. Let's get on with it, because I'm keen. Right, we have Papa Doms. Little mini ones, anyway. Um, obviously, you get the bigger flat ones uh, at your curry houses and stuff like that. And let's have a dunk in the onion and garlic dip. Kind of know this is going to work because they kind of are for dipping. You get your minted yogurt and your mango chutney and stuff to kind of like go with them and your curries and stuff. So, mm. not really a surprise that this one's worked, but I thought I'd do it anyway. Hmm, very nice. But, I guess unless you're a chef, you don't know too much information on Papa Doms. So, let's um, go through some stuff. Because you've got the spelling there, that's on uh, that packet, and it's spelled P-O-P-P-A-D-O-M-S. Whereas... Uh, generally, you, you can spell it P A P A D U M, so Papa Doom kind of thing, rather than Papa Dom. Uh, and um, there's actually um, a lot of other uh, different variations of it. I guess it varies around the country. Papa Dam, uh, Papad, Apadam, Pa Pa, uh, Pampad, Hapala. Apple lamb and Poopa Doom. So yeah, various um, different um, ways of uh, saying Papa Dom. Uh, the um, a Papa Dom's thin, crisp, disc-shaped food from Indian subcontinent, typically based on seasoned dough, usually made from peeled black gram flour, urad flour, either fried or cooked with dry heat, usually flipping it over. An open flame, uh, flowers made from other sources such as lentils, chickpeas, rice, tapioca or potato can be used. Um, goes with meals from uh, India, Bangladesh, Nepal and Sri Lanka basically, traditionally. Uh, Papadoms or Papadooms, yes, very nice indeed. I love these little small things, they're quite nice. Mm. Saves you breaking up a bigger one, I guess. Um, yeah. Snacking with caves in the trees. What's left of them? They keep cutting them down. 